Welcome back everyone to my channel. Today I'm going to be brewing a 5am Saint Clone. Okay, so the mash is now finished. So we're going to put these grains into the um, sieve and we're going to rinse through and collect the first runnings. We're going to put the first runnings back into this pot, which is the uh, boil pot, and start boiling that up whilst we've put the second running through here, rinse the rest of the water through here, collect an equal amount, put that back into the brew pot. Then once it's in the brew pot, we should have about 11 and a half there and thereabouts. I've got on the screen exactly the amount of details afterwards um, to, for the pre-boil. And we'll take a pre-boil reading as well to get the gravity of that using the hydrometer, not hydrometer, using the refractometer. And we'll do that. Okay, this is the grain bed, as you can see, and that is where the first runnings are going. Oops, it's steaming up. And we're aiming for about five and a half litres for the first running piece. There we go. And once we've done that, we'll put this back into this brew pot here. We'll get that starting to the rolling, well not rolling boil, but we'll bring that up to temperature whilst we rinse the rest of the water through the grains as a second running so to speak and then we'll use that, combine the two and then we'll take our original gravity. So we've now collected the first runnings off there which are in here. So we'll bring that up to temperature. Just speeds the process up. Bring that up to temperature while we take our second lot of runnings off this bed here. Okay, a little tip to understand when the sparge is done, what I do is I use the refractometer and take a reading after the first, second and third, and when there's two consistencies, as in it's reached, it's not changing, it's not increasing or decreasing, uh, then I um, take that as read that the sparge is done, all the sugars have done their business, and that's when I finish doing the sparging process and then add it to the first um, runnings and then finish that off. Okay, little tip for you. Okay, so we're almost at the bar now where the first edition will go in for the hops, for the bittering hops at 60 minutes. Then we have another edition at 30 minutes, and then it's flame out, and that's it. No more. Uh, and then we dry hop. About 80% of the hops are actually dry hopped. So only just over, just over 20%, I think it's about 22%, and 78%, so 22% are um, during this process, and the other 78% will be done as dry hopping, which is a lot of hops, but this is five years saying, see the recipe online, it's uh, Hot bomb. These are our hop additions. 60 minutes, 30 minutes, Irish moss at 15 minutes, and then the um, hop stand flame out, whatever you want to call it, at the end. Let's get the first lot of hops in. This is 60 minute bittering hops. Okay, so now I've um, put it in a bath of cold water and I'll put some ice in there in a little bit and we're gonna cool that down. I've put the last lot of hops in as well. I'm gonna leave that to hop stand for about 30 minutes till that gets down to a really nice temperature so we can then pitch it and ferment it. All the boil's done, brilliant. Okay, so we've got the um, sanitizer in there, just sanitizing that. We'll empty that out before we put the beer in. Beer's down to temperature just about. By the time it goes into the fermenter, it will be. And there's the beer there. It's been sat there for about half an hour with the hops in as well, below 80 degrees, and it's now dropped down to um, almost pitching temperature. So we'll get that transferred. So 
So dry yeast. So four English yeast straight. Dry, I've not rehydrated it. I don't find it makes any difference personally, but day done for the 5am saint um, it's gonna have a week in the fermenter then it's gonna be uh, dry hot for another week uh, and then we'll bottle it um, carbonate it for about three or four days at um, 20 degrees or so and then we will let it condition for a week minimum and then we'll try a bottle after that so it's been a week now these are all hops we're gonna put in Remember I said it was about 80% hops. The beer as it stands. So let's get to um, putting hops in. Literally all I do is I just take that off. Take that off. And then get the hops in. I find this easier than transferring. Introduces less oxygen in theory. Put the top back on. Oh, get on. You know, I've taken the handle off already. Oh. Airlock back on. I'll put some more water in there because there's not a lot of water in there left. And there we hop sour in. I'll give it a quick whiz round. Get those hops in there. Get that bubbler bubbler again. And that's that. So that's a week on, fermented for a week. It's finished fermenting really, so now I'm gonna dry hop it for a week and then we'll see how we get on after that. And in about a week's time, we'll then bottle it. So I'll see you um, probably in another week's time.